Tanks. Today's about tanks, big tanks and some flyers. 3,000 points of tanks and flyers coming down out of the wastes to attack the chaos lines in this narrative battle report. And welcome to the channel, Sultan from some place. Say hi, Sultan. Hi, Sultan. Tanks. Do you like tanks? Yes. This is vengeance for you, because uh, we did an attack defend thing where you were the defender. Yeah. Now you're the attacker. Ooh. The loyalist, the guard, rushing down, rushing down towards the chaos things. Um, I, is this good? Is this good? Well, guard's rule means they have to stand still, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is going to be a custom 3,000 point mission with a couple of house rules, because criminally... Games Workshop do not have official rules for doing allied stuff. And we've got Death Guard and Chaos Knights over there. We'll get to them in a minute. We're here for the tanks. The tanks. This is rather intimidating. Talk, yeah. us, through, talk us through what we've got here. Yeah, I'm 20 points off of 3,000. Right. Below, that is, because it's hard to square Me off too, numbers. Me too, exactly. Yeah, so we've got two super heavies. We've got a Bane Sword with a big Quake Cannon, which yes. is meant to destroy like fortifications and stuff, which I thought was cool. Okay. And then we've got a Bane Blade, which is the classic. Right. Um, as with all things, this tank is actually done. I still need to buy tons of little baby infantry to crawl all over my other tanks, because I think that's the best part of it. You've so, got loads of stowage all yes. over it, and you're going to stick guys on top of it as well. Yeah, it's these, these are like a constantly evolving diorama. And right. eventually they're going to be, you'll be able to go, is that a tank underneath all that? That's the point. <laughs> um, we've got two tank commanders. We've got one with a Nova cannon, multi-melters, stuff like that. Yeah. And we've got one with a Vanquisher cannon. We've got a Macarius. This is a standard Macarius, even though it's got the big Vanquisher cannon, because the Vanquisher cannon only has one shot. What? And on guard? Yeah, and I'm That's thinking wrong. one shot when you hit on fours for a 300 plus point tank is a bit boring. Right. So I'm going for the standard variant, who at least has a chance to fire like four. Okay. So he's a few more. He's got a standard battle cannons. Yeah. We've got a Rogal Dawn with an oppressor cannon and a coax and a pulverizer. And yep. the exact same Rogal Dawn, but in a different color over there. Okay. So the idea being that these two stick together, they're from the same squadron before Volcanus fell. We've got this guy and the big gun sticking yep. together because we've got a vanquisher and a big gun. So they want to stand at the back. Yes. And then we've got our spearhead of a super heavy, a Rogal Dawn and another, I don't know if this class is a super heavy, like a, just a big tank. Okay. Well, where do people get the um, data sheets for these things who, they might not so know. this one's in Imperial Armour. Yes. And then there's another one we'll come to in a minute that is in Legends. Okay. Um, but speaking of more Imperial Armour, we have a Thunderbolt and a Lightning. Very, very frightening indeed. And a Vendetta. And a Vendetta. Yeah. And there's 10 Zions in the Vendetta ready to drop out, and that's your only infantry at all. Uh, only because you made me, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be coming on from Reserve in Turn 2. The idea is the tanks are suppressing the crap out of the Chaos Lines. And then the flyers zip in overhead yes. and maybe drop out some glory boys to either die or take an objective gloriously. Yeah, this is called um, this is combined arms or airland integration if you're a military nerd like me. Brilliant. So there's the idea you get armored forces, they rush and take objectives while these guys clear out obstacles ahead of them. Uh, you are supposed to have infantry, we don't have points for that. Brilliant. Uh, you have got a warlord. Uh, yeah. And it's this you, one. This one down here, has he got an enhancement or anything? Yeah, he can give a second order. He can give a second order. Yes. Brilliant. So this is attack defend mission. Last time we did it with Sultan, he was defending. Now he's attacking, rumbling out of the wastes over here. And we have three objectives. One, two, three objectives down there, which you need to take. And they're full of plague marines. I've got a unit of seven plague marines back here. And inside the bunkers, Three more units of seven plague marines with two heavy bubotic weapons, two plasma guns and a blight launcher in every single one of the squads. You'll notice that I don't have any HQ because house rules and things. And those three units of seven are inside these bunkers here. Now, house rule number one. These are going to count as rhino stats, we've agreed. So toughness nine, ten wounds. They have a transport capacity of enough to fit seven people in. And they've got a firing slit and I can shoot seven guys out of there. Uh, once, uh, while I'm inside these bunkers though, I can't score them. If you're hiding inside a bunker and you're getting suppressed by the crap by the enemy, you're not scoring them. So at the end of the game, I'm going to need to spill out of them somehow to try and hold the ground around them. And uh, so whoever controls these bunkers at the end of the game 
wins, basically. There's a draw condition here. If I control one, you control one. Just like a rhino, though, you can blow them up. And then the guys, and then the area around that space will be the objective that you need to control. We've also introduced a really cool rule because how heavy is a tank these days? So like a Challenger 2 is about 60 tonnes. 60 tonnes? Yeah. How heavy do you think a Lehman Russ is? <laughs> I don't know about a Lehman Russ, but I remember reading somewhere that a Bane Blade is like 300 plus tonnes. Yeah. Easily. So basically we've said that if anything that isn't a Lehman Russ rolls over one of these bunkers, <laughs> they're destroyed. <laughs> they will be pancaked in as well because we want to see bunkers either blow up or get crushed. And we want to see carnage in amongst the lines as you try and take the objective. So You've stepped on some shortbread. Stepped on some short, I've stepped yeah. on some Lego, it's pain. Oh, well, less about that, it's more just like the way it goes and breaks. Oh, right, I yeah. stepped on a, a, you know, that clay pigeon shooting? Yeah. Like the clays or some pottery or something, you just like put your foot through it, it goes. Yeah. That's what I kind of imagine, that's kind of ceramic crack as the tank goes over it. It's a heavy thing. Yeah. And uh, these aren't like, uh, what is it called? Ceramite and stuff like that. These are just rock. Yeah, rock creep. Rock creep. They will crumble if a 600 ton tank rolls over the top of them. So I've got four objectives, three objectives with four dudes. There's the sky fire. That's firing up into space as you guys come smashing towards these lines. And I need to try and hold on to these somehow. But to help me hold on to them, I've got 2,000 points of knights. So there is... A Rampager. This has got a once per battle advance and charge. Mm. And he does hit on twos. So this thing I really need to unleash, get amongst the lines and start ripping up some tanks. So he's target priority number one. Yes. Then there's a Desecrator with the biggest gun in my army. An 18, strength 18, D6 plus three shot big gun on the Desecrator as well as this big Reaper Chainsword. What do the birds do? The birds, the birds are there for the smell and for the droppings and all the pus and stuff that is uh, spilling out of them oh. i'm glad you pointed at the birds as well by the way like because the birds. the birds are lovely they're all I like the, the bugs as they're well. all magnetized look these oh. all these knights are magnetized because they're gloriously painted to level four standard by den of imagination painting studios right. so they're all very can we also shout pretty. out these hands holding up these battle cannons uh those battle cannons on there again they're made by den of imagination oh, they're, they're very painting cool. studios yeah on there i don't know how that works but if I you love go on it. their store yeah there's hands and holding teeth with teeth, Ugh. yeah, you can switch them off. So if you don't have enough weaponry for your Chaos Knights, you can you can buy individual weaponry from them as well. So yeah, this thing's rampaging forward. That thing hits on a two, but it's got two shots with its big gun, and that's going to go up the table. And then I've got the uh, despoiler in the backfield with two rapid fire battle cannons, and we know what they do. They throw down a ridiculous amount of firepower they're only AP minus one though and I think your entire army except for the flies has got a two up safe uh, yeah yeah maybe that one of the flies has a two up for all I know but... okay <laughs> <laughs> I've got a war dog huntsman on this side a war dog stalker on the other side two war dog executioners on the other side and supporting the uh, forces of chaos supporting the plague marines two drones moving forward and two plague burst crawlers we honestly have no idea how this is going to go. It could be a whitewash one way. It could be the whitewash the other way. But we thought we'd definitely film this one just to see. I mean, hopefully it's going to come down to the last dice roll. But we, we have to film it. We have to see what happens here. It's going to be glorious. Now, because criminally, Games Workshop do not make rules for allied detachments. We've had to make up some stuff, stuff for ourselves as well. So uh, Sultan has got one army rule, which is if he stays still, he shoots better. That's what guard do. Yeah, his six is auto wound, and that's probably not going to come up. Six is auto wound. <laughs> well, I think in the first turn or two, you're going to probably have a couple of tanks. Well, the big for, ones at the back. Maybe the two big guns, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they're going to suppress for but a bit. flyers don't even think about no, it. No, no. <laughs> Uh, so you've got an army rule and technically I've got two army rules and technically, officially, if you run these armies, to, well, there's no official stuff. The Harbingers should affect the Chaos stuff and the Death Guard Smelly stuff should affect the Harbingers as well. So what we're going to do is scrubbing that. This is an allied detachment. I'm going to have one army rule because the Death Guard are trying to hold the trenches down. We're going to use the Death Guard one only and the Death Guard one doesn't her the Chaos Knights. Long story short, we're using Death Guard Contagions on the Death Guard models only, and if Sultan gets in Contagion range, he'll be minus one toughness and minus one armor save if he gets in range of the 
Death Guard. While the Death Guard Plague Marines are encased inside a bunker, however, that will not get contagions. If while I'm inside, I can't get shot at. I'll have seven guys in there shooting at. They're not getting shot at. They're happy as Larry. But to get out, I need to get out to score it, and I need to get out to suddenly spread the contagions out. So that should have some interesting game implications later on. And the other thing, technically, you can't use both strats because. But so we're going to use the strats for the knights, and we're going to use the strats for the plague marines as well. The Knights can use the Trade Taurus Lance strats. The Plague Marines can use the Plague Company strats. Plague Marine army rules are in effect. I think we've covered everything. Dust and belching fumes kick up in the distance as the Volcanus armoured column deploys into this battle grid. And here we are after turn one movement. They halt, they break, they don't move forward. They're going to lay down a, an incredible amount of firepower. In the shooting phase, hopefully it's an incredible amount of firepower. I want something glorious to happen. Yeah. What's happening? So there's just the, the rumbling of engines. They stop. The tanks do that thing. They do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they stop, and then they just all of the box clicks, and it will go through, through the, uh, the lines. Aim. Take aim. It's the only order being given out. We've got one, two, three tanks being told to take aim. Beautiful. We're starting with the biggest gun on the table. The Bane Sword is pointing all of its armament at the Rampager down here because while the Plague Marines are inside the bunkers, they cannot be targeted. So big gun on top, what's it called? Quake Cannon. That sounds terrifying. D6 plus 6 shots. Okay. For 12. The maximum <laughs> number of shots. Go big or go home, huh? <laughs> yeah. Should mention though, but I was definitely rotating iron shields. We're oh, getting yeah, one CP. Yeah. <laughs> Try and keep it alive. So we hit on threes. Because of take aim. Because of take aim. Remove those misses. Good auto... shooting super heavy. And the sixes auto wound. They do. Right. And how strong is a quick cannon these days? Brilliant. Threes to wound. Not so good. AP? Minus four. Minus four. <laughs> yeah. How much, Six. How much damage is it? Four. Is it four damage? Yeah. Flat four damage. I need fours then. Oh, drop dice don't count. A bunch of fours coming up. Eight damage so far. Two Alas cannons. On threes. Whap, whap. And then on the strength 12, toughness 12. Yeah. Fours. One, one more wound. One more save. Three twin heavy bolters. Daka, daka, daka. On three. No sixes, which have been really handy because these are going to wound on sixes. Uh, one. One. Uh, one third save, that's another two damage, you've taken ten wounds off the Rampager, I think he's got twelve left. Next, Tank Commander with Vanquisher Battle Cannon firing at the same target. Yep, so it's heavy, so he hits on twos. Brilliant. Uh, he hits, and it's strength 18. Okay. Oops, oops. Top dice then count. Uh, wounds, that's a wound. minus four. Four up, 50-50. Uh, that's a failed save. I don't have any more CP. D6 plus 6. Brilliant. And that's 9, nine damage. Uh, it's only got 3 left. Last uh, cannon. Last cannon. On yeah. a 3. Okay. That's it's a hit and auto wound. That's the same. I made the save. And then I made the save. plasma. The plasma is going to be splashing onto this drone as well. Because right now, it's the only thing in range. 2D3 shots. Overcooking, obviously. Uh, so that's 4 shots. Hitting on. 3s. There's an auto wound, and the other one will wound on a Strength eight five. So fives. One wound, one wound uh, five up invulnerable save, and make the invulnerable save and a hazardous check. Yeah, you're okay. One minute. Then we remember the HK, which they get for free. It's strange that the big ones don't get hunter killers. The only things that get it are lemon rusters. Are they? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, going into the rampager then on, on a three. A, on a three, yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's a hit. Uh, strength fourteen. Three's to wound. Wounds. That's a wound. It's save or death, basically, isn't it? And that's a roll of one on the damage. Uh, that's a failed save. D6 damage. For three. It's that's just enough. It's just <laughs> enough. Deadly demise. It doesn't blow up. And you take down the first of the knights. Two tanks fired. One dead knight already. Now we're coming across to the other super heavy, the Bane Blade is targeting the Desecrator. All guns are in range except for the Demolisher. Yes. Has he been ordered to take aim as well? No. No. No one can reach him. No one can reach him, okay. So 3d6 shots with the Bane Blade Cannon. Right. For quite a lot. You're getting, that's, that's good. <laughs> no take aim though, so he isn't hit on fours. Uh, there's a couple of lethals. 12, toughness 12. Fours. Okay, we have five wounds, AP. Minus two. Uh, so these are all five up saves. 
Oh dear. How much? Three. Three, damage? six, nine, twelve. Fifteen, 15 damage. It's Ooh. on seven left. Despite not hitting on threes, the uh, gunner showed up today. Yeah, and you've got two Laz cannons yeah. reaching out across the battle grid. Whack, whack. And one of them hits, and one of them's lethal, and the other one doesn't wound. And... Uh, I make a save. Co-axle auto cannon. Hits once. Okay. Strength nine. Okay. Wounds. Wounds. Make the save. Stubbified in and bounced, and now we've got the three heavy bolters. Daka, Daka, Daka. No lethals there, so these are going to need sixes. But they're twin linked, which I forgot in the previous oh, tank. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <I completely forgot. laughs> There's one so far. Well, you killed the other one. Just one. You killed the other one. Did. Yes. Uh, and I make that save as well. Mine, yep. The Desecrator is still on seven wounds remaining. I say still, he's not in a happy place. On to the Macarius Imperial Armour choices with its Macarius Battle Cannon. Yes. That's, I got it right. Macarius Twin Battle Cannon, yeah. So D6 plus three shots. Okay. For You're rolling for a lot of shots. Yeah, well, it won't continue. Okay. This I think I feel like we've done this before. I've okay. some deja vu. Has he got an order for taking? No, he's no. not. So fours to hit. Yes. And it'll be fives to wound, which um, is good for those then. There's some lethals already. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, five to wound because it's strength ten. Brilliant. Okay. Minus one, three damage. Minus one. Four up saves. It takes six damage. It's on one wound Ooh. remaining. Uh, this one actually does have a hunter killer. It does have a hunter yeah, killer. Yeah, yeah. It's check a four draw choice. Yeah. Um, he hits on a four. And it wounds. It hits an auto <laughs> wounds. Punches straight into the thing. Does the reflector field manage to reflect it? No, we have a second engine kill, and this one doesn't deadly demise as well. Oh dear. It's fine, it's fine. This is a narrative game. We want to see how this is going to work, if this works at all. I'm having fun. It's good to see what the Treadheads can do when yeah. uh, they've got all the guns. When and they're all not the tied power. up by a thousand demons. <laughs> <laughs> Spilling all over the thing. This could be over real quick. Mind you, you've still got to get here. Yes. You've still got to take the, the stuff. Are slow. So you've got a Rogal Dawn, a Rogal Dawn, and a Lehman Rust left. Yes, I need to do some measuring. Okay, because they're quite short range, the thing on the thing. Yes. Right, we're onto this Rogal Dawn. The melters, multi melters are out of range. Yes. So you've got the oppressor thing. Yeah, basically, we've got the big gun, the coax, and then a little blink, blink on the top. Okay, what is your target priority the, now? Um, play crawler over there. Play burst crawler, the yeah. tank. Tank yeah. on tank action. Yeah. Oppressor cannon. D6 plus three shots. Four. Three. Uh, six, even. Six shots. Yeah. Okay. He yeah. hits on fours. Right. He stood still. Yeah, there's a lethal. And t strength 12 toughness. Uh, ten. Two wounds. Tank firing across. We're counting this as cover right in front because you can only just about see the top. So threes and make the saves. Coaxial auto cannon. Hits on threes, apparently. Okay. Hits once in wounds. Okay. It's full, minus one. But... but full top save against that. Yeah. Down across to this flank of the battle grid, both of these tanks are targeting this knight down here. Yes. The little war dog. Yeah, so this guy's been given take aim by okay. the other tank commander. Okay. So he's D6 plus three shots with his oppressor cannon for max. Hitting on threes. Six is a lethal. Wow, everything That's hits pretty enough. good. Yeah. What's the... Strength 12. Okay, threes to wound. Minus two, the walls will only give cover to infantry, so it doesn't give cover to the knight. Five up saves. How much damage? Three. Three damage, so that's 12 damage. Do they still have 14? Dead. Oh. It doesn't blow up. So we have our third engine kill. Now the Nova Cannon from the Tank Commander and the Lars Cannons are reaching out into this Plague Burst Crawler. Here's so the Nova Cannon. D3 plus 6 ignores cover. Brilliant. Yeah, ignores cover. The Nova Cannon is supposed to be urban. street it's based to kill, fighting. Like, heavy like, infantry, yeah. It's a heat-based gun. Yeah, oops. Uh, so Tank Commander hits on... Fours. His tank commander hits on three, surely. No, the tank commanders don't hit better anymore. No? No. Okay. They all auto wound now. Brilliant. Which is great because it's strength seven. Okay. So I need a five. Oh. So minus one, ignoring cover. Two up saves. That is six damage on the plague burst crawler. It's down to five remaining. And there's a last cannon there. Well, chow! chow. It hits. It wounds. I make the save. You're good. The guard tank stopped to rearm and reload. Faisalin and smoke drifting across the battlefield. 
and three engine kills amongst the Death Guard lines. Oh, mama, that was painful as we got to Death Guard, tell what. Operation Try and Kill Something is now in effect. Now the Guard hit the brakes on the vehicles before they came in range of the anti-infantry firepower and the plasma and the blight launchers that are coming out of those bunkers there. So none of the Plague Marines can actually hit the tanks right now. And I'm not getting out of them because I need to score these objectives. We've been ordered to hold over here. These guys are firing that Skyfire laser battery up at a cruiser somewhere in low orbit. The two drones advanced all the way forward. This uh, war dog advanced all the way forward. The tanks just rumbled forward. Now we're going to try and reach out and touch something. And on five wounds, that uh, Plague Burst Crawler is one pip away from being nerfed. So he's not nerfed yet. And I need to kill this tank commander. Who the what now? I'm going to spend my two command points yes. on Armoured Might, which reduces the damage against this tank. Okay, so. I like it. Because the Plague Burst Mortar is a two damage weapon. Plague Burst Mortar, number of shots. That is eight shots. Hitting on threes. Six is a lethal on this as well. So it's very stinky, very smelly. Toughness 10 though, so fives to wound on the other stuff. And they're all minus one. Three, three up stage. Yeah. We're You're good. okay. All right. Two entropy cannons. Hitting on threes. Six is a lethal. And this is strength 10. Toughness 10. They're only strength 10. Yeah, oh, wow. they used to be strength higher. Yeah. <laughs> and they're only 24 range range. I do get two wounds through at minus three, though. So, uh, five ups. Yes. No. no and uh, it, These are just D6 now. Yeah, instead of D6 plus one, this is just... Instead of two D6 plus two, this is just two D6 now. They do it, though, I think. And that is seven damage. I have got a command point. How many wounds is 13, on the D? 13, so... Uh, well... Let's 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 command point it. Let, I need to kill a tank. I have to stop <laughs> this. I make it one better. That's eight damage. Firing over the head of the crawler is the war dog executioner. Now it does do three damage. If I fire at that tank, it puts it down to two. I feel like I need to because at least because they bracket as well, right? Yes. So everything in my eye brackets. Yes. Uh, the interesting thing as well, though, is Executioner. Each time this model makes an attack that targets a unit below half strength, add one to the hit roll. So they all hit. Oh. Strength nine, though. I need five to wound. Drop dice and count. Uh, I get up wound at minus one. Minus one, three up save. Good. Uh, you make it. Let's fire the other one in. We're firing the other one in. We've got the range. Two's to hit because you're below thingy bob. And five's to wound. Uh... Two more. Three up saves. Make them. So the question is, do I keep going? Do I put the night despoiler into it as well? Or fire it downtown? Um, I think the answer is yes. Yes, we do. You're not in rapid fire range. I've got two despoiler battle cannons. So this is 2d6 plus 6 for number of shots. Threes to hit. And night spoilers can reroll a hit. And they can reroll a wound with dread domination. Uh, sorry, seething hatred. Um, fives, three wounds. And you re-roll a wound. Oh yeah. Three wounds. Minus one. Minus one, but three damage a time. Three up save. Two damage a time. Uh, I take Ooh. it. Ooh, that, so that would have killed. That would have killed it, but you spent that CP. It's so on one wound left. One. At least my CP, my two CP was used for something there. Yeah. Uh, something. Are the stubbers in range? The stubbers are just in range. Just threes. I'm going to need sixes to tickle off that last Ooh. wound. No. Oh. All right. I guess I'm putting the mortar on it from the last Plague Burst Crawler. Number of shots. Eight shots. Threes. That's a lethal one. These need fives. Three and minus one. Cover or no? Uh, technically, yeah. You're behind the thing. So three two-up saves to keep your tank commander alive. <laughs> He's alive. And of course, the entropy cannons are out of range at only 24 inch range. So that thing ran forward. The drones ran forward. We've stepped forward into the ruins of the dead knights around us. And we're going to go on to guard. Turn two. Here we are after the movement phase. A number of the tanks rumble forward and take aim orders given out here and here and here. And the flyers. Uh, zipping on to the battle grid, entering play from Strategic Reserve. This edge as well, this Sultan's Table Edge. So 
That one's on from Strategic Reserve. We have the Thunderbolt and Lightning. Very, very brightening indeed. And Vendetta. <laughs> and Vendetta. And we have another wave of firepower about to smash into the Death Guard lines. Starting off with the Lightning. Uh, light, last Cannons and Lightning Hellstrike Missile Rack. Yes. Coming down into this War Dog back here. Yeah. Okay. So we've got two last cannons. Okay. Which hit on fours. Yes. I'm not rotating or anything. So he's an aircraft, so he doesn't get that. Yes. Uh, strength 12, so threes. Wounds. Wounds. Minus okay. three. Okay. Uh, I make the save. Yeah. And then two shots from the hell strike rack, which is anti fly, doesn't affect here. Fours. One hit. One hit. And then a wound on a strength 10, toughness 10. Right? 10, yeah. Yeah, fours. No, nothing. Wow. The shots just smash off the shielding over the war dog across the line to the thunderbolt, targeting the second war dog. Last cannons. Yes. One hit. Strength 12. One wound. Five up. Failed save. D6 plus one. Okay. For That's four. four damage. It's on eight left. And then the hell strike rack. Okay. Same as before. Missiles away. Both miss. And then the thunderbolt nose auto cannons. Yeah, in the nose. Loads of auto cannons. Yeah. Four shots. Okay. Hit on fours. Oh. No. Okay. I like to think that it's still, uh, it hasn't lined up its attack run yet. It's just come in. <laughs> I like to think its pre designated targets are gone. <laughs> <laughs> The big targets are gone. What are we supposed to shoot at? So the Vendetta is like, I've got one. I've got one. Three <laughs> LAS cannons coming in to this big Chaos Knight. I am rotating Iron Shields because I feel like it's going to take a lot of yes. firepower. So he hits on fours. Yes. Uh, one hit. One hit. And it will wound on three. Uh, sorry, four, but it's twin linked. doesn't matter. It does wound. I need a four up and vulnerable save. Nice. I make my four up and vulnerable save. That's it for the attack run. All the flyers only managed to put four damage on one of the knights here. The treadheads down below them are like glory boys. <laughs> we'll show you how to shoot. Uh, no, it's all about the, it doesn't work against these guys, but it's all about the sheer battle shock value of having a turbo fan go <laughs> around <laughs> your head. <laughs> nice. So onto the big guns that never tire. Rogodorm battle tank. He rumbled forward this turn, but he yes. has been told to take aim. Yes. The reason why he rumbled forward is because you're now in multi melter range of this crawler here. What are we firing first? multi melter. Brilliant. So we're going to hit on threes. The sixes don't do anything because anymore. Because you were told to take aim and everything yes. hits. It needs fives to wound, though. It does, yeah. Whoa. Wow. That is three wounds. Uh, five up in vulnerable saves. Yes, sir. I make one of them. 2d6 damage, it's got five wounds remaining, and that is a dead Plague Burst Crawler, which doesn't deadly demise. The remaining shots from the Rogal Dawn pounded that crawler into dust. Now we're onto the heavily injured tank commander, frying down here into the War Dog. Starting with the Nova Cannon, yes. D3 plus six. Whoa. I like it's D3 no. plus six. It's like the opposite of a normal battle cannon. Yeah. yeah. Well, like it's strength seven, it's high AP, it's supposed to fire into buildings and just hose them out. Yes. It's like a modified heat lance I thing. I really like it. Yeah. Um, so he hits on fours, but uh, sorry, fives now because he's injured, but sixes will still auto. -wound. Yeah, he stays still. I want those sixes. And there's a uh, six and a yeah. uh, hit. So fives to wound with the other gun. Oh. Two wounds, uh, five from vulnerable saves. Yeah. I make one fair one. Two damage, right? Yeah. Two damage. It's on uh, 10 left. Here's the last cannon in the nose, which misses. Yeah. And then we've just got a little stubber on top. Okay. Which you might as well have a go with. Might as well. Because they all wound. <laughs> Why is it with a stubber? Uh, I, I, it's you're fine. Good, it's good. fine. Yeah. It just pinks, pings no off that, the yeah. armour. On to the big guns. Let's do the biggest gun of them all firing at the big knight. What's the name of that gun again? Quake Cannon. I like the sound of it. Great it just name, sounds, yeah. sounds scary. Okay. Quake Cannon. Coming in hot. D6 plus six shots. Please roll a one. <laughs> That's not a one. <laughs> Hitting on threes. He was ordered to take aim. He stood still. So those sixes are lethal. And it's strength 14? Strength 16. Strength 16. Threes to wound, right? Yes. Everything wounds. Everything Minus wounds. four. Okay, four up and vulnerable saves. Yes. Don't you mind. He's doing four up. damage. I'm, <laughs> I'm using your dice. They do roll well. Look at that. That is still... Uh, 16 damage off the night. It's down to six remaining. Then last on the monsoons. Hits One hits and, and auto wounds. And then on a four? No. One hits and auto wounds. And make the save. Bolters. Of the heavy variety. No sixes again. Okay, that's good. That's, that's good. Fine, yeah. Sixes to wound. Twin linked though, I remember Twin this linked, time. Yes, there's one wound. There's two wounds. There's two wounds. Um, there's one. I take another two damage, it's on four remaining. 
What's that now? So I was about to say and see if the tank commander can show him how it's done, but to be fair, that's just taken 18 damage on the knight. So. <laughs> <laughs> tank commander with vanquisher. his one shot vanquisher on a two because he ordered himself and that hits. Strength 18. Wounds. Four up. No CP. I failed the save. D6 plus 6. It's dead. It's got four wounds. I still wounds. want to roll It's it. got four <laughs> wounds. Only five damage. And Do you know how knife, often a Vanquisher hits and wounds winners? It, does, no, it doesn't. It never, <laughs> never hits and wounds. And that is the third engine kill. In front of these tanks is a Rogal Dawn, and he's firing at the drone that is charging down towards him, and you are in melter range. Yes, we'll start so, with the melters again. Okay, he moved though, so fours. Yes, and no, nothing to do with sixes. Two hits. Uh, strength nine, toughness nine. Fours. One wound. Demon save. I fail the demon save. Um, I need to measure because I might actually be in the plus two range It here. looks like you're in the plus two range. It looks like range. I'm in the plus two range. Yeah. D6 plus two. Seven. Noble's number. Three wounds left. Regular metal guns, not in melter range, no. and they both miss. Okay, what else we got? Let's have a go with the um, auto cannon. Okay. So, hits on threes this one normally. But yes. That's good. Strength nine, toughness nine. Yes. No. No. And big guns are going to have gun. to do it. I'm trying to do the ones I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so that's um, four shots. Okay. Hits on fours. Two hits. Wounds on threes. No thing. wounds so and then the far. Pulverizer cannon. Only the melters. I'll do the stubber first because I remember what that does. Six shots at this range. Okay. And then uh, no. nothing. Right, we're on to the big demolisher pulverizer thing. D six for two. two. Four's on to fours. Hit. Negative. Nothing. Okay, oh. the drone's still alive on three wounds remaining. I okay. guess. I mean, to be honest, that was the only thing the Macarius could see, so I guess he's just being. I nice. guess the Macarius yeah. is going to thread the needle and try not to hit the Bane Blade right in front of him. Oh, bam! I mean, it's a, the Bane Blade probably won't care. <laughs> <laughs> just knock a guy off. <laughs> D6 plus three shots. Yes. For lots. Close to hit. There's, uh, there's a lethal, and that's Well, he didn't it. stand still. So he didn't stand still. kind of wiggled forward. I mean, oh, yeah, he had really to go moving, that way yeah. so he could thread the needle that way. So strength, uh, 12. Okay. Wounds. Five up and bun? Yeah. There's cover in the way. What is the AP? Minus one. Is it minus one? Mm -hmm. So I get a three up. It doesn't dead. help me. Three damage. It's a flat three damage. Yeah. We have a dead drone. We have our first drone kill. So we have the last super heavy, we only have the Bane Blade left, and I'd like to tell you that you're in a target-rich environment, but you're not. <laughs> you're in a graveyard of engines. They're gonna have to come forward at some point and try to take these objectives though. Yeah. What do you want to fire at? We're gonna put all the heavy bolters and the short-range demolisher cannon into this guy. Okay. And then we're gonna put the big guns and las cannons back into This is the injured one. Yeah, we'll put it into the injured one because they're all they're the same. Yes. Um, Force to hit. It and moved. it's it's um Sustained hits with bolters. Yes. So remove those. Okay. And then wounding on strength, strength five, five so toughness nine, fives five. but twin linked. Okay. Two wounds so far. So four, four wounds. wounds. Minus minus one. one yeah. No cover. Two damage a time. That is four wounds off the drone. Big demolisher. Um, I'll do that in a second. I'll do the stubber first. Okay. What the demolisher does? It's D6 shots. I think it's it? like D something plus three or something. Just so, Stubber hits twice. And then was on sixes. Stubber does wound. wound. Good old Stubbers, I like them. Doesn't tickle a wound off though. How many shots does it demolish it these days? D6 plus three. Brilliant. It's the main gun on another tank. Yeah, on the Vindicator. <laughs> and on the a Demolisher. On a Demolisher. Oh yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. So he hits on fours. Okay. Uh, we have three hits. Yeah. And it will wound on trick 14, so threes. We have one, one wound, wound. Minus three. Minus three, five up and bun. D6. No. Okay. So it will still be alive. It'll still be alive. One wound. It only takes a wound. Coaxel as well, sorry, yeah. coming into drone. Forgot about it. Hits. Two hits. Uh, strength nine, toughest nine, fours. Wounds one. once. Minus one. You're Make good. the save. Forgot right. about it. Didn't do anything. Two last cannons then coming into this war dog across the battle grid, and they both hit. Threes. And, and they both wound. Five up and buns. And I failed both of the saves. 2d6 plus 2 on this? Yeah. So 7, 8, 9. It's on one wound remaining. So 3d6 shots with the Bane Blade cannon. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to fire it, so I'm not too annoyed about this. <laughs> 8 shots. Yeah. 4s. 3 hits. 3s. 
three, three weeks. weeks. AP? Minus two. Okay, so uh, minus two, and then there's that thing. So fours, fours coming up. No fours coming up. That is another dead war dog, and that one doesn't deadly demise either. None of my type tanks, none of my titans, none of my knights are deadly demise. You've just shot them full of holes and they've keeled over. The thin Death Guard line moves forward and now this Rogal Dawn is in contagion range of that little drone there and it'll be a 10 inch charge from that war dog. And you're in 24 inch range of both of these bunkers as well. And we said they had seven firing slits for the guys inside, rhino equivalents. So maybe I can actually kill a tank this turn, but before we get on to what happens to the Rogal Dawn, this thing is on one wound. Mm. So I've moved this war dog round, the only uninjured one in my entire army. I'm going to fire down at it and try and crack it open. Threes to hit. Well, I know, twos to hit because you're below yeah. the... Yes, fives to wound him. I don't wound him. <laughs> right, we'll start with this bunker while we're still in range of the Rogal Dawn. I've got two plasma cannons there, two plasma guns in each squad. And of course I'm overcooking them. Yeah. Uh, one of them hits and doesn't wound and then hazardous i'm okay and then there is a blight launcher which hits once and doesn't wound okay that's that bunker done we're going to go on to the tank the entropy cannons can hit it the mortar see if i fire the mortar up and over into this thing he's got a two up safe mm. so what's the point in firing at it other than maybe killing it i'm firing the mortar at him i've got four shots yeah. uh and i hit twice and I don't wound him. I shouldn't have fired at the tank. Mind you, it wouldn't have hurt the Rogal Dawn either. Here's the entropy cannons into Rogal Dawn. And they both miss. I did the slugger. Nothing happened. Onto the troops in this bunker. Let's overcook some plasma. Both of them hit fives. Neither of them wound. Hazardous. One of them dies on a one, two, three. It was the Sarge. It was the Sarge. <laughs> and then the Blight Launcher. Both of them hit. And none of them wound either. Plague Marines are useless. They're cowering. They're terrified. There's bits of night raining down on top of the bunkers, clattering off the roofs. I can't blame them. When you've got like an unholy engine of despair by you and you watch it just get engulfed by a Sabo round. Like, very, <laughs> very quickly as well. You're like, that's just the human firing that yeah, gun. Yeah. We thought they were squishy. And Plague Marines are normally so friendly and, and smiley and laughy and stuff like that. They do a lot of touchy with their slick parts. Sticky fingers, you know. <laughs> um, drone spurting on your tank. 2D six auto hits toughness 12 but you're in contagion so yes. i can wound you on fives i finally get a wound through at minus one becomes minus two because of contagions I'm good and i don't wound the tank okay we have the thermal spear on this thing or dragon's breath spear on the war dog freeze nothing <laughs> So far by army and nothing happened. <laughs> okay, now we're going to charge. The drone is going to hit the tank. The drone charges in. And then this thing needs a 10 to make the Rogal Dawn. And I didn't spend my command point because I kept it in my pocket for this. And that's a snake eye. So I'm definitely CPing, re-rolling Good that. luck. Charge. No. Okay, so it's just the drone. Nibble, nibble goes the drone with its plague probe. It hits twice on fives. Wounds once. This is a minus two because of the contagions thing. It's fine. Now don't injure the tank. And then the tank can rev its engines and try and fight back. Try and run over a floaty drone. On fours. Okay. It hits three times. Brilliant. Strength seven, toughness nine. Yes. It wounds once. Okay. And I make the save. And I that... like to think he does hit you and you just sort of like boom. Yeah. Just... Bob, bob off. <laughs> yeah. We're bobbing around. That is the end of Death Guard turn two. Turn three, at some point the Imperial Guard need to start rumbling down. They need to start trying to take these objectives, but the air wing will fly overhead. And they've got precious little targets to shoot at as we go to guard. Turn three. Orders are issued while the air wing screams overhead. Take aim round here and move, move, move on this Rogal Dawn. Round here, the tank commander on one wound, leaking oil and smoke, keeping up behind him. He's still in the fight. And where are we going to start the shooting phase this time, Sultan? Well, the mission is the destruction or degradation of these strong points. Yes. So we're going to use the air wing to take out those targets so our tanks can roll through afterwards. Nice, I like it. 
So we're going to start with this guy, the boss pattern lightning. Firing this bunker. Two last cannons into the bunker. One of this them hits. hits. No, they hit on force. Oh yeah, they hit on force. And then the lightning hell strike rack, which okay. is the real bunker buster. Okay. Misses. Okay, brilliant. The uh, the air wing is letting you down. <laughs> it's all right. Same again. Okay. We've got Vendetta firing three LAS cannons, which hit twice. Okay. And these will wound on his rhino, right? So yep. threes with twin links, doesn't matter. Okay. Minus three. Minus three, so I need sixes. Negative. 2d6 plus two. And that Four, is five, seven? Seven, yeah. Seven, it's on three I left. I have a command bunker. point. I'm going to re-roll that one. Okay. This is the mission. This is the mission. That is a dead bunker. They don't deadly demise, but the guys inside can take mortal wings as the shots go through the firing slits and smash down into the bunker. So there's seven guys inside. And one of them takes a mortal wound as they get out of the rubble. The bunker is cracked open. The lids come spinning off. I should have only rolled six dice because that's the one where the sergeant died earlier. Yeah, so just that one mortal wound was on his body. Okay. So he's good. <laughs> okay, so we're, ki we're utterly killing the sergeant. <laughs> yeah. One bunker cracked open across the Thunderbolt. Yes. Coming into this bunker. I'm going to start with the autocannons because okay. they're always the last thing I fire. Okay. So they hit on fours. Yay. Yay. And they're wound on fours, twin linked. Yay. Everything wounds. Yeah, Minus these are one. the nose guns. Going boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Thunderbolts are such iconic fighters in all the Black Library so cool. books. And that is two damage each. Three damage each. Three damage each. The ultra cannons went up. Yeah. Nice. Okay, it's on four wounds remaining. A couple yeah. of Laz cannons in the nose. One, one of hits. them hits. Wounds on a three. Doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. And then a hell strike rack. Uh, don't hit. That's the air wing. One bunker is down. Now onto the tread heads and the big guns. Yes. Macarius firing everything into this drone. Oh yeah, it should be worth noting. Why did you pull back with the Rogal Dawn? Because you can fire into combat. Because lessons identified. Right. I played with the Rogal Dawn three or four times and every time it's been tied up, it's done very little. Okay. So this time with all the other armor that is available, yes. he's going to reverse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Malcarius into drone, here we go. D6 plus three shots for eight. Hit on fours. He's still, he still as well. Still. Yeah, it doesn't matter this time. Okay. Toughness nine. Three's to wound. Twin linked. Four wounds. Minus one. Four up saves. Uh, uh, three damage. Against. That's definitely a definitely a dead drone. Does this one deadly demise? No, it doesn't. No explosions. I like explosions. There should be more explosions. Where are we going next on? We're going to do the tank commander putting everything into the war dog. Okay, a bit of cover, but it's minus four, so yeah. it's all going to come down to the so shields. This will hit on a two. You take aim and he misses. Oh, he misses. I'm going to command point that. Okay. He misses. misses. Again. I like to think that the shot just smashes into that rock pile there and stuff rumbles down Yeah. onto the drone. He last missed cannon, his then. first shot. Here's the last cannon in the hits. nose. That hits. Wounds. That wounds. Five up in vulnerable save. Yes, sir. I failed the save. D6 plus one for, for six. Seven, to make six up damage. <laughs> it is on one wound remaining. You've got the plasma. Yes. 2d3. Overcooking, obviously. You don't need to. It's on one wound. Who do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> um, hitting on fours. Oh, so what? he told himself to take aim. Yes. So, yeah, Two freeze. hits. And then... Fives to wound. Yeah, that's the hard part. Does no. a wound and then hazardous. He, he takes overcooked damage. the generator, puts three wounds on himself, and the war dog's still alive on one wound. Next to the super heavy, next to the tank commander, the only thing the quake cannon can see in the last cannons is down here into this war dog, and the quad bolters are going in to the infantry that got blown out of the bunker. D6 plus six on the quake cannon. There he is, the lowest he's rolled. Eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> three is to hit. He stood still. So there's an auto. Right. And then two, uh, strength 18, so twos. 16. Yeah, yeah. strength 16, toughness 10? 10, so no, threes. threes. yeah. Three wounds. Minus, Minus four. Five up in vulnerable saves. Eight damage. Eight damage. It's on four left. That one was uninjured. Two last cannons streak across the battlefield and both of them hit. Threes. And both of them wound. And one of them fails. Six plus one for two. And it's still alive on two wounds left. Nice. And then the heavy bolters. Yeah, nine shots. Nine heavy bolters coming in to the plague of marines. Uh, so threes. threes, yeah. Took aim. 
Ooh. and that was pretty bad. That was the That's worst bit of shooting. Sustained hits and that wounds. Yes. And then uh, fours. threes. Oh yeah, fours because you're twin linked. No, just okay. one. Minus one plus one because of the crater we're in. We're okay. We're down to three tanks remaining. You've got the tank commander firing across into this war dog on one wound remaining. D3 plus six. Hitting on fives with the Nova Cannon, and he moved, and that is a hit. It's going to need five to wound as well. Oh, change dice. Doesn't, uh, wound. doesn't wound. And then we've got a Laz Cannon. In the nose. No. Misses. That's really And the Melters are out of range, yeah. so we've got a Rogal Dawn and a Bane Blade We now. have a Stubber. Stubber. A stubber always hits, right? Stubber always hits. Stubber always stubber hits. hits. We've done a six, though. Stubber doesn't, doesn't wound, though. <laughs> always hits, but never, ever wounds. Never, so ever wounds. So we're going to do the... Um, Oh, we're going to do <laughs> the Bane Blade, because I want to kill the infantry, but right. it's infantry. Right. So we're going to do the Bane Blade firing the Laz Cannons and the Demolisher Cannon into him. Into this one. On and one we're going to put the big Bane Blade Cannon and the Coax into that, and all the small arms into there. And then we'll see if we've killed anything. Okay. So you're splitting fire across three different targets. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay. So Laz Cannons first. Into the War Dog on one wound. Hits. One hit. Threes. Can't see it. Cocked. It was a four, but it was cocked. Wounds. Wounds. Five up or death. He chooses. Death. Yeah. Explosion? Come on. Now the big gun and the coaxial into the other war dog. 3d6 shots for the big gun. Okay, that's the lowest number you've rolled so far. Still a lot of shots there, yeah. isn't it? Uh, so fours to hit. Fours to hit. Mm, and it Not moved. Bad. Threes to wound. Yes. Wow. All five wound. I need to make all of my saves. I don't make enough saves. Dead. And that one doesn't blow up either. And then we have the heavy bolters. And the stubbers. And the stubbers coming into the plague marines. Sixes are sustained. Okay. So those two and he misses those. Yes. And then fours. Twin linked. Not bad. Seven saves. Nurgle's number. I'm in a crater. Two of my guys get evaporated. Stubber. Stubber. Rapid firing. We have three hits. I'm going to need fives. We have no wounds. Last thing left to fire is the Rogal Dawn. What we do with the Rogal Dawn? All the weapons bar two are firing into the Plague Marines. Right. So the big gun is going to go into the tank because it's a tank hunter. Yes. And then we're going to do something. It's called a pulverizer cannon. Right. So it's got a pulverizer bunker, right? So you're splitting fire three times with this as well. Well, it worked previously. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully <laughs> this does pulverize the bunker. Starting off with the... Pulverizer cannon. We'll Brilliant. Do it. So D6 shots for five. Fours to hit. Yep. Three hits. Strength nine, toughness nine. Fours yep. to wound. Three wounds. Three wounds. Uh, no idea what the AP is. I don't know what the AP is either. I'll have a look. Uh, You're probably okay. If it is minus two, and it's not minus two, it's minus three. Yeah. So that's only one save, three damage a time. That is six damage. That is a pulverized I bunker. Think it was less than that. And then the guys scramble out, and one of them takes a mortal wound. Bunker number two has been effectively pulverized. Now a presser cannon into Plague Burst Crawler. Yes. Um, this many shots, D6 plus three, max. You know, so I've had, seen the comments. A lot of people get quite upset with my rolling because it's really bad a lot yeah. of the time. I think people are going to be upset for the make, other reason. You're making up for it. I, I feel like the last time I did this as well was about three years ago with the Volcanus on a rescue mission yeah. again. And once again, it was flyers and tanks. I'm thinking, though, there's still a win condition for me. You've got to get here. You've got to get these bunkers. These have got an OC of two. Oh. I'm thinking I'm okay, maybe. I don't well, know. Well, let's try and kill your tank. Anyway. Right, okay, let's try and kill my tank. On fours. Okay. Some good rolling. There's some good rolling there, Solon. <laughs> I'm a bit frightened of these dice. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you can't touch them. Uh, strength 12, toughness 10, right? Yeah. Threes. Minus two. Four up saves. I fell three of them. It's three damage ago. It's nine damage on the tank. It's down to three left. Last thing left to find. Multi-melters, melters into infantry and point blank range. Yes. Uh, fours. Yes. Uh, you hit four times. Three to wound. Yeah, threes. Just plague marines. Strength nine, toughness five. Yeah. Two wounds. Minus and four. So crater is a thing. Six up saves. One it helps me. D6 plus nothing. Just kills a guy. Okay, one gets melted and then in half. A very quick stubber on top. Stubber hits twice. Fives. No. And that is the end of guard turn three. The death guard line is in rubble and is in ruin.
And with the tread heads rumbling down towards the chaos lines, I need to kill something, anything, as we go into Death Guard turn three. In the Death Guard movement phase, I've moved forward to, to try and engage some of these tanks. The plan is to try and kill a tank. Mm. And we're going to start off with this Plague Burst Crawler, firing at your tank commander on one wound. Yes. You pop smoke. Yeah, for the armor save. Yeah, because I've already minus one to hit. Yeah. So here is two entropy cannons. And they both hit anyway. Good. good. Uh, strength 10. Toughest 11. I need fives. I get a wound at minus three. Becomes minus two. Four up. Oh, he's yeah. dead. Yay, he goes through. I kill a Death tank. Death befitting an officer. Does it blow I, up? Uh, well, instead, I think instead of rolling to blow up, you roll for this. Oh, okay. So don't roll a one, right? Death befitting an officer. Yeah. And you don't roll a one. And it means it can shoot it when it, it dies. It means it can shoot at anything when it dies, yeah. That means you can fire back at yeah. anything, so you're going to fire back at the tank. Revenge! These are in a <laughs> crossfire. Here we go. We'll go with the last cannon first. Yes. It's on a two. No. Oh, sorry, on a four. <laughs> it, it, this is. Cool. And then D6, D3 plus six for the Nova cannon. So he hits on fours. Full ballistic skill. Yes. Whoa. No lethals you moved last turn. Yep. You need fives to wound, though. I do. There's two. two wounds. Minus something. Minus one, you said it was. I think so, yeah. So one three damage, up saves. Two damage. Two damage. Oh. That tank is on one wound left. Can you remember if I fired the Hunter Killer on this? Um, I can't remember for the life of me. I don't think he did. Yeah, I might have forgotten he had If one. you kill it with a Hunter Killer, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. On a th four. four. Misses. Misses. And then we've got a stubber. It's a stubber for the win. <laughs> yeah. Stubber to take the last wound off. Those are two <laughs> hits. Six is to wound. Come on, buddy. No, no, it's on one wound goes. remaining, and, and the it melters does... can't see the lights yeah, over there. It does deadly demise. Yeah, uh, and we still haven't had any explosions, but I have my first tank kill. Ooh. Obviously, the mortar was going into the tank as well. So now we're on to my infantry. The idea is to shoot at this Rogel Dawn and charge this Rogel Dawn. I have a plasma right in front of you, which I am overcooking. and they hit both of the times, and not wound and deadly demise. He's okay. There's a light launcher, which hits both of the times. Wounds both of the times. And this will be a four up save because of contagions. What strength is a light launcher? It's strength things? six. He's tough as 12. You're in contagion. I'm tough as less. <laughs> what is this? Minus? Uh, it's four up saves. Minus one because minus two. Because then that is oh. four damage. I tickled the, I tickled the Rogel Dawn. Rogel Dawn start on 18 wounds, which yeah. is more than a land raider. It's on 14 left. Let's overcook some plasma from here. Both of them hit. Who are they shooting at? Uh, the Rogel Dawn. Oh. Fives to wound. Nothing. Deadly demise. A hazardous, sorry, no. Here is the Blight Launcher. One of them hits a five and it wounds. You need a four again. You make the four. Let's fire in some Bubotic Bolters. And I'm firing these in because lethal hits are a thing. No, they're not. No lethal hits. <laughs> uh, sixes. Nothing. That is the end of my shooting phase. Whoa. Uh, the yeah. guys back here are out of range, so now we're going to charge with the squad into your Rogel Dawn. Five? Am I six away? I think I'm six away. Yep, yeah, we get in there. I'm spending a CP on sustained hits. Forget the name of the strat, but you can get sustained hits. Here's the Plague Knives. One of them hits. Doesn't wound. And then there are two heavy Plague Weapons in there. Here's the two heavy Plague Weapons. These will hit on fours, though. We're really looking for those sixes, because they'll be lethal and sustained. My dice rolling isn't as good as your dice rolling today. <laughs> it's fishing for sixes, you just don't get them. Uh, works, fives. One wound, minus two, comes minus three because of contagions. I'm good. You're good. And then the uh, Rogel Dawn can rev its engines and yeah. try and run over a plague marine. Six attacks on fours. Hits twice. And then strength seven, toughness less than. Two w wounds. Wounds twice. No AP. And I'm good. And that is the end of turn three. These tanks are really going to have to put their foot down now because they do have an OC and they want to breach this line in turn four and in turn five as we go to guard. Turn four. In the movement phase, the flyers have left the combat airspace swooping around this way and they'll come back on that table edge in turn five to do one last attack run awesome across nice the gate. Rolls. Some nice barrel rolls yeah. through the sky, popping like, flares. Oh, the tanks have done it. Whee! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Then the tank commander gave out some move, move, move orders before he moved up. The Bane Blade is now all over that objective. The Rogal Dawn is coming down for this objective over here. It looks like you can easily take, or well, potentially easily take two objectives, because I'm going to be doing some running to try and get on some objectives in my last couple of turns. Mm -hmm. The big, the nasty, quick cannon in the background isn't moving. He was never going to make it there anyway. He's, it was never the plan. <laughs> he was a mobile bunker in himself, just yeah. firing some guns. So busting forward, this Rogal Dawn in combat with the Plague Marines. Yes. Staying in combat with the Plague Marines. I'm hoping multi-melters can do it. Okay. <laughs> Shall we start there then and see yeah. if multi-melters can do it? You're in melt range as well, For so you can fire them yeah. all at the same time. So six shots with melters. They've hit on five, though. Yes. But you stood still. Yes. So that, does that mean you're back to... Sixes, oh, yeah. Six yeah. is an auto wound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's one auto wound. Which will go right here. Yeah. And another wound. Another hit. Yeah. Which needs a three. And I don't get a save. That'll so, kill two. Yes. Because melter range is a thing. Then we've got a coax auto cannon. Okay. Which doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. We've got the stubber. Yes. Not stubber. Two auto wounds. Yeah. And a hit. Uh, and wounds. No, just two wounds. Just two, yeah, wounds. Yeah. <laughs> two wounds. Two wounds. In just one. One's alive on one wound remaining. Could you just... I'm being silly, sorry. The, that hits on threes normally. Did I roll any fours on the auto cannon? I don't know. I, I don't, don't know why so. that hits on threes. No, but, no. Uh, yeah. There's one alive on one wound. That's fine. <laughs> so you haven't killed it yet. Uh, you'll have to do it in turn five. Kill this last plague marine. We're on to the big gun in the back. Heavy bolt was out of range, but last cannons... Coming into the infantry down here and the quake cannon going into the tank. Yeah. On one wound. It might be silly, but I'd like to see it blow up. Okay. Hurt me. So D6 plus six shots for 12. Brilliant. Wow. Fours to hit. Six is auto wound. There's three auto wounds straight and away. Four, yeah. Okay. Uh, five of vulnerable saves. It's dead. So it blows up, right? On a three up. Why? Because the special rule for the Bane Sword is if it kills a vehicle, yes. the deadly demise happens on a three. Does it? Yeah. That's, awesome. That's why I wanted to do this. Even though it's probably <laughs> going to hurt me, I just thought it'd be cool. Awesome. It yeah, we blew something up. Okay, so D3, <laughs> deadly demise. On the infantry, it takes two. Your Rogal Dawn takes one. The Bane Blade takes two. I mean, taking a wound at this stage on the Rogal Dawn and the Bane Blade. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think it... Yeah. Okay. Last cannon's into infantry. Fours. We both hit and wound. Both hit and wound. Uh, minus three becomes minus two because of barricades. I fail them both and it's a minimum two damage. Yeah. Wiping out two more. Exploding them in showers of pus. On to the Malcarius. Firing into them. It's got blast on its thing. But it doesn't matter because there's only... Oh yeah, there's only four Four left. shots. Okay. Right. Hitting on fours. Yes. Uh, hits Two twice. Hits. Wounds on strength 10, toughness 5. Two. Twos. Two's the wound. Two wounds. AP. Minus one. Threes. Uh, Three damage. Another one dies. Six bolter shots. Yeah. Sustained hits. These are just heavy bolters. These are just heavy bolters. But not twin link. But not twin link. So there's okay. the sustained hits in. Fours to wound. Fours to wound. No twin linkage. Uh, three wounds. Three more. Three up saves. I'm good. Good. What are you doing with the tank commander, Sultan? We're putting the last cannon and the vanquisher cannon into the bunker. Don't kill the bunker. I want to kill the bunker. See, because my plan is, these guys run out, hold that objective in turn five, because I've got the last action. And then the guys from the bunker, which isn't dead, because you don't kill it, run out and hold that. And then I've actually got two objectives at the end of the game, and I win. I yeah, that's what I'm trying to stop. So don't kill the bunker. <laughs> So we're going to kill the bunker. Right, okay. <laughs> and then the plasma going into the troops? Yes. Okay, killing the bunker. Let's we'll start with the last cannon. Right. Hits. It hits. And it'll wound on a... Three. Three. That's cocked. Yeah. Does it wounds? It wounds. Minus it three. needs a six. The bunker doesn't get a six. D6 plus one. The bunker seven. takes seven damage. It's on three wounds Ooh. remaining. And then the vanquisher battle cannon. Yeah, he hits on fours because he moved. Doesn't fires hit. over the head of the bunker. Misses. 2d3 shots, overcooking plasma. Of course. Because two damage a time. Uh, on fours. Two hits. And then on threes, threes yeah. Two, two wounds. Minus three. Two more are dead. And two then, hazardous checks. He's not doing too well on these hazardous okay. checks. He's done six damage to himself. He's overcooking that reactor and burning out the coils. One plague champion stood there shouting defiantly at you. 
but there is a Rogal Dawn and a Baneblade left to speak. And yes. the Rogal Dawn is doing its melters into him. Yes. And the stubber. <laughs> and everything else into the bunk. Anything else try to crack the bump bunker. Okay, here we go. So we need to do the multi melters first, because I think we're in melter range. Yes. Uh, those hit, hit, but they don't wound. On threes, one wound. Okay. Minus four. I need a six. He's dead. He is in multi melt range. He's dead. Good. Dead dude. <laughs> Can you crack the bunker though? Pulverize it, can D6 shot. Don't pulverize Two. it. Uh, hitting on fours. One hit. And then strength nine, toughness nine on fours. Don't That's wound it. it, okay. D6 plus three on the big cannon for nine. Nine shots on the turret weapon. Press a cannon. Fours. Threes to wound. Two wounds, minus two. Fives on the bunker. Death. How much damage? Three. I'm gonna command point. My bunker. <laughs> I need the bunker alive. It's dead. Oh. It's a dead bunker. <laughs> mortal wounds? No mortal wounds. They stop, drop, and roll. A unit of plague marines stand there. You've only gone and blown the bloody doors off. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and facing them is the might of the bane blade. Three d six shots on the big gun with blast. Yes. Bane blade battle cannon hitting on fours. Wounding on twos. It's a Bane Blade Black Cannon. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. Six Minus wounds. two. I am in cover. So fours will keep me alive. Uh, three of them die. Come back to auto cannon. Okay. Uh, misses. Okay. And then we've got two last cannons. Okay. One hits. Uh, wounds on a two. Two, yeah. Wounds. wounds. I need a five. I don't make a five. D6 that, plus one. Yeah, yeah. That nukes another one. Which one? That Demolisher one? cannon. Okay. And when he started shooting, it was a full squad, so it's D6 plus four. Yes. Fours. Uh, uh, three hits. Four, four hits. Four hits. That's nice. Okay. Twos. Yeah. Three wounds. Minus three. Uh, that's two more dead. Is it D6 damage a time? I think these are D6 this one, yeah. Okay, so so the like... first one is dead. 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 Sergeant. Screaming defiance <laughs> as the heavy bolters go chunk, 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 chunk. There's a sustained and a lethal. Uh, no, not lethal this not time, lethal. but yeah. Uh... Fours. fours with twin linked. And he needs to make three. Three up saves. And, and he gets... round enters his screaming mouth. And explodes. And someone who has fought for 10,000 years across the <laughs> ravaged battlefields of the 41st millennium... Is killed by a 19-year-old guardsman manning a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty tragic, that, isn't it? Yeah. Killed by a 19-year-old... Uh... It's a twisted kind of tragedy, because like this 19-year-old probably isn't going to be alive in a month's time. Do you know uh, the Death Corps of Krieg as well? Like, if they make it to their 20s, they're considered veterans. Yeah. Well, they want to die. Are they yeah. also considered failures at that point? Because they're like, hey, why haven't you died yet? Uh, yeah, well, no, the failures, the ones who get their arms and legs blown off and don't die, yeah. they have to go back to Krieg and do all the admin. They're well, really... They wear like a kazoo or something. Well, you know, like the guy in the Starship Troopers, hey, the core made me the man I am today. And he's got no he's legs got, yeah, and no yeah. one arm, yeah. That's exactly what yeah. it's like with the Krieg. That's he what seemed they happy, did. though. He did, he seemed all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is the end of guard, turn four. I needed the bunker of life. So then in turn four, I could have hunkered down and spent all my CP on Cloud of Flies and things like that and re-roll in saves. Don't forget, you got one guy. He can do it. Well, I'm not even going to do that combat because, look, what's going to happen here is... <sighs> yeah, I couldn't see. I was in with the flow. So Sorry. And, so <laughs> I, uh, I could have hunkered down and then in turn five, if there was a couple of guys left alive, I could spread across the two objectives. That was the plan. But as it stands, I've got one die, one die, one guy who, let's face it, is going to die this yes. turn. Yes. And then these guys up in the sky bunker. And then your mobile flying force comes back on. The Rogal Dawn is going to take this one. You're going to take this one. And even if I only take one, which is looking very unlikely, it will be a win for the guard. You've just rumbled forward, suppressed, murder, death, killed your way across this battle grid. And this is the way the death guard end. So it's a clear victory for the guard, and then we kept rolling dice in turn five anyway, because that's what Sultan came over for, and that's what we played this game for, to roll dice and have fun. And we wanted to see what was happened, what would happen. And this is what happens when the sledgehammer of the Emperor is unleashed. I got no Death Guard left at all. Yeah. You destroyed the last bunker in the bottom. We didn't even talk about it on camera. The idea was that uh, that bunker in the bottom was a land raider in case you wanted to shoot at it. <laughs> 
and the tanks come crumbling all the way across the line. The air power comes in one more time, and at the end of the game, you only lost one tank commander. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. He ejected. He got out of his tank. They'll give him another one later. I do like playing these narrative games. I encourage other people to do it. I wonder what would have happened if I'd have gone first, if like defenders were dug in and come forward. Yeah, I was thinking, because I, I remember discussing it, at the start, saying, I said, oh, the guard should go first because what are you shooting at? And but I agree. The guard should have come first. At the same... <laughs> but then at the same time... <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> no. But then at the same time, um, I do wonder, because you had him... Not Imperial Knights, Chaos Knights. Yeah. They would sally out. Yeah. And then maybe they would have taken the initiative to start the engagement. I think so I, don't know. I wasn't in charge range in turn one. Mm. Even with the advance and charge on the rampage, I might have been out of killer knight. Uh, sorry, a... A tank or two, maybe one tank, let's just say, with some of the knights before I come busting forward. And then that would have given you... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if it would have gone differently. Mm. I feel like if... Uh, again, you didn't have much of an option to, so it's not like something you did wrong. But targeting the tank commanders is key. I think um, if people choose to play attack defend missions at home, mm. then it's always best to run it back. If you've got the afternoon, like this one didn't take too long to play in the film. So if you want to run a mission like this at home... Then run it one way, then run it the other way. Swap sides or yeah. whatever. Have yeah. tea and biscuits halfway through. Yeah. Swap sides or do it with the defenders What's going the first, part, then the it? attacker going first. Yeah. What, the tea and biscuits? The half time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, run it back and see how you guys get on at home. And if you have played attack defend missions, then do let me know in the comment section or in the Discord um, how that went. You know, in the recent battle reports chat. I do like reading your comments and, and reading your stories I read down all the there. Too. Do you? Yeah. You're, you're being quiet in that. See, I don't respond to much. I'm in there all the time. People ask me, hey, do you read the Discord? I'm in there a couple of times a day, every single day, checking, 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 checking all the time. Oh, in the Discord? In the Discord. Oh, no, I'm less active. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, sorry, everyone, I forget. The YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, you check... I go and have a look. Yeah. yeah. In the disc. well, I'm in the YouTube as well. I'm checking all the time, so when people do ask the questions and things, I am answering all the questions, making sure that everyone is behaving themselves. I have to say, though, I'm very proud of the Discord. It's such a welcoming, it's such a nice community. So uh, thank you to everyone who is a channel member, who is in the Discord, chatting away. And if you are a channel member watching this video and you're not in the Discord yet, why? Get in there. It's a very nice place to be. You're already paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we do hope you enjoyed that battle report. Happy war. The Emperor protects. <laughs>